So the best way to catch mackerel is not necessarily the most effective way. If you really want to catch them from the shore, you're probably better off with heavier leads, big five ounce lead, thrashing it through, lifting it up. So harbour walls or piers like this, the vantage points to catch the mackerel in the tide. Only a string of four on here, but I need the extra distance that this rod will give me. And I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about the best way to catch mackerel and also the most effective. And actually this is the most effective with a big heavy five ounce lead, lifting it up. Letting it drop down. I wanted to talk a little bit about the best way in terms of the most enjoyable to really respect the mackerel because the mackerel is such a hard fighting fish. So we'll have a look at different ways you might be able to catch a mackerel. So feathers, when people say about feather, it can either be foil, um, these are like string of really quite rusty ones to be honest. You get sabiki ones, you can get sabiki lures as well, very effective with the smaller hooks. And instead of a weight, I'm just using a weighted shad because uh, I know on this particular venue there's always a chance of a bass picking up that shad as well. Um, so it's one way of doing it. The problem you get here, you can get a string full of mackerel and it kills the sporting element. Uh, hard to unhook, fish get damaged. So ideally, ideally, the best way to catch mackerel, I think, would be dropping it down to single hooks if we can. And that's where fly fishing comes into it actually. I've got a light lure rod today, this is a 10 to 40 gram with the braid. I've got a length of fluorocarbon on there as well. Um, minimum size for mackerel though is there. You can always change uh, the weight. So you'd use a one ounce weight, but you can use metals here as well. And change the type of shad that you're using or the soft plastic. It just acts as the weight. It just gives a little bit more interest, I think. And I've certainly done better using these, particularly from a kayak. So you retrieve not by using the reel, by using your hands. We've got quite a big lure on here really, so it's kind of quite quite fast. And then I just sort of edge the tip a little bit and mend the line. I'm not professing to be the expert at saltwater fly fishing, uh, but some basics really, just tie the fluorocarbon onto the main line of the fly line. For mackerel, Fishing light is, is the way to go, I think. This isn't as effective, not as effective as using five ounce leads, a big rod, uh, and strings of six mackerel feathers. But the fly rod gives that mackerel a little bit of a, a little bit of a chance. I'm not the best saltwater fly fisherman, um, but we will go through some of the basics. Just got this little fly on here. It's like a pike fly, I suppose. Uh, and that is similar uh, to the feathers that you'd use a string of six for. Uh, but we're only putting one on here and then a center pin reel. You don't play the fish off the reel, or well, at least I don't. Uh, just using your hand to retrieve and your hand on the line uh, to bring the fish in as well. Just lies in a bunch on the floor, basically. Right. Don't treat this like it's some sort of how-to fly fish cast. I'm not the best caster, so feel free to have a criticism of, of how I cast. And I found this video up here if you really want to know how to cast a fly. The thing with all these things, the best thing, fish the fly, get uh, a good instructor. Uh, but here goes, so I'm going to give it a go. My little caveat, it's really windy. Yeah. <laughs> fly rod I'm using is a seven foot three Sigma Supra four piece. Um, I don't know too much about them to be honest. Cork handle obviously, traditional fly fishing. It's only a budget rod from Shakespeare but it's absolutely fine. I can use it off the kayak being that seven foot rod and you've got fluorocarbon on the end with your fly. You want to reel in the slack really. 
just wanted it to be something you could consider to catch the mackerel it's obviously very light there's no weight uh, the weight is in the actual main body of the line and then obviously there's lots of saltwater fly fishing patterns that you can use you just want to replicate what's in the water and normally around here these will be small herring uh, and sand deals of course so using a sand deal lure might be the answer Another pattern I use quite a lot is this flexo sand crab. Now you can use that under a float. But what I've got on there is the flexo sand crab fly. And I'm always on about this sand crab. I think it was designed as a bonefish fly, but the only sort of slight addition I've added to it is a little lead shot, not made out of lead. And this is just to get, get it down here because we're on a quite a steep wall. The only problem with that, it makes the casting awful. And my casting's not very good as it is, so. down and got some <laughs> also get a lot more enjoyment finding these mackerel in more sort of far off remote locations i can't get too excited about catching them uh, when it's shoulder to shoulder i know the admiralty pier although it's now closed was somewhere you could have hundreds of people fishing right next to each other for me it's nice to do it a little bit of solitude as well now here's some footage of mackerel chasing the sand deal right up into some rocks um, and you've probably seen this, it's amazing when this happens. Be nice to give them a fighting chance here. So we come on to what I think will be the ultimate a little bit later in the video, but what are your first impressions for yourself? What would you choose as your favourite way to catch a mackerel? Uh, we'll be talking about float fishing coming up, and that's another great method. Uh, but I'd love to know in the comments your best way of catching a mackerel. And maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe we should forget about trying to catch them singly and then just get what we can on six strings. I wonder what your preference is for catching mackerel in the best sort of sporting way. Please leave your comments underneath. I'd love to know. I wanted to talk a little bit about the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community full of thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, like the one you listen to now. And they're always developing new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. I've really enjoyed diving into Greg Hung's GoPro 8 Beyond Next Level. It's a really good one for those of us filming our own fishing trips. And I've recently discovered Josh McGuigan's GoPro Hero 9 Camera Masterclass from beginner to filmmaker. I particularly like the easy to understand section on camera movements here. Skillshare is really good. I'm using it myself. Um, there is a link underneath uh, the first thousand of my subscribers. You get a free month of Skillshare. Use the link below. So quite an effective way this one. I'm actually using a little boat rod uh, mismatched with one of my 2500 size Shimano's with braid. Once again, I'm getting caught broadside. It, this will be a lot more fun for you if I fell in, I think. Ah, come on. This is very tough conditions. Doesn't look like much. Uh, but to get yourself in the right position for fishing is hard. Right, <laughs> back on the rod. Nice little light boat rod, really. Um, and then I'm using a Sabiki's with that on the end. A, a practical way of catching mackerel. Not particularly sporting, but for the moment we need them for bait. So it'll do. I like the Sabiki ones, you can shake them off the hook, all right. We'll drop that down and see how we go. Oh, this wind just keeps wanting to turn me round. Some mackerel coming up now. These are on the Sabikis. It's a good size. Oh, you've got to love the mackerel. Beautiful fish in there.
setting up the float for the mackerel is very similar to the bass that we have been float fishing for on the channel as well. Uh, fluorocarbon, not quite as necessary, uh, but maybe a weighted float, something like this one. So the line goes through the float. And that'll find your depth as well, a bead at the top using power gum just to stop the float coming right the way up the line and you can still cast off the reel with that. I think it's quite good as well you know if ever you're surrounded by lots of people we looked at earlier in the video it's quite nice to try and do something a bit different as well. Uh, never really like those big crowds of people all thrashing away, all thrashing away trying to catch the mackerel whereas on the float You'll pick up the odd one or two, get a good idea of what the current's doing as well. Just got to avoid everyone else's lines, so maybe a better technique for when you're fishing on your own. And then you can weight the float as well, you need the weight. Alternatives to that nasty treble, uh, lure hooks, quite good for live baits as well. You could put a sand deal on there. You can put a frozen sand deal on there, I've had them that way as well. Set your float depth. So yeah, let us let us know what you think. What's your best way of catching a mackerel? Or should we stop messing around? Just get those strings of six out, make sure we catch some fish and make the most of them. Cliff. So we know the mackerel are there now, I'm going to use this float rig. Got the best type of rig for mackerel sabikis. Need to tidy that up in a minute. Just going to fish light, maybe do a bit of fly fishing for the mackerel. Uh, spare float. Front facing GoPro. There's a fly rod there which I've just put with braid uh, and a leader. Just some mono leaves. What I've done is a little bit of weight on the fluorocarbon, just tied a salmon sort of fly onto there, sea trout fly. As we saw right at the start of the video, I've also had mackerel over the years on hard plastics, the lures that we talk so much about on the channel. Uh, but I think that's more to do with the fact that I use them a lot, uh, so I'm always going to have a chance of getting one. And they're a bit big and bulky, three treble hooks for example, can be harder to land a mackerel. So the ultimate for me then, I think, having reviewed this video and looking through it, is a simple single hooked metal of some sort. We've used the Savage Gear Seekers, of course. Uh, but for me, I think a single metal, a lure rod, braid straight through onto a small metal with a single hook uh, is going to be the ultimate way for catching mackerel. So do let us know what you think. Uh, so yeah, do comment. And then we'll pick out one of the comments at random next week and I'll send you through a few of those metal lures that are my favourite way to catch a mackerel. So do comment uh, and I'll put something into the post. We'll just choose one at random, I think, uh, if you want those lures. Um, but I'm going to run through some of... Got the R and L I here, look at this. realize we're trying to film a video. One little shiny mackerel fella. Mackerel 
Michael Foyle, Michael Foyle really.